We love reading. I'm sorry it's a little bit late. Um, I'm a Salem descendant on both sides of my family. So if it gets chatty in here, don't be scared. I'm just trying to help. Stuck in your mind, giving up on something, something you've been fighting for, something you feel like is not good, feels like bad luck. <clears throat> Someone left you out in the cold. Someone broke up with you. This is a karmic relationship. Ten of swords in the reverse, with temperance in the reverse. Uh, it's a cycle. It's a cycle that's not close to ending. Spirit. Heart. It's very manipulative energy. Trying to present like you're not. You guys are heartbroken over a relationship that is not working out the way you thought it would. Ten of Cups. <laughs> Three of Swords. Heartbreak. Six of Swords. Moving on. Person's a player, a cheater. Not focused on the future. Or in the past they cheated. Actually, I'm thinking in the past they cheated. But they weren't focused on the future. That's for sure. Spirit, current energy for Libra for this week. Current energy, please. Current energy for this relationship. Justice in the reverse. Queen of Wands in the reverse. <laughs> Six of, I mean, Queen of Pentacles. Six of Wands in the reverse. Justice in the reverse. It feels like everything has gone wrong. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse is, um, there's someone financially dependent here for some of you. For others of you, this person could be, um, could have like a toxic mother that you're dealing with. Um, yeah, definitely a toxic mother. Over some Queen Asshole. Uh, four of Wands in the reverse with eight of Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. No commitment, no happy ending. This person's a jerk. I'm not trying for commitment. Spirit, clarify King of Cups, please. King of Cups. This is really bad energy. Ah, and there you are. Queen of Cups in the reverse. And they're the King of Cups. King of Cups in the reverse. And you're the Queen of Cups in the reverse. You guys are soulmates, but it's toxic. It's a, it's um, it's karmic. Seven of Swords in the reverse over the magician. Yeah, they're a real asshole. Do not care about the future. Do not care about a solid, committed relationship. They do whatever they want, when they want, how they want, with whoever they want. Like, they act like they're great. They act like they would never be a cheater. They act like they're wholesome. The devil in reverse over not looking towards the future because they're stuck on these things that bring them um, pleasure today and they don't focus about focus on the future or think about how it will affect the future long term. Queen of Cups in the reverse, Queen of Man in the reverse. 
they put you in this toxic energy because you know that they're cheating. Spirit clarify. Okay. Jeez. Yeah, five of cups with temperance in the reverse over it. Justice in the reverse over ten of cups. Justice, temperance, justice all in the reverse. There's a lot of heartbreak and like bad energy here. It's a karmic soul tie. This is not, there's not a doubt in my mind that this is not a karmic soul tie. This is a karmic soul tie, a hundred thousand percent. And they suck. Yeah, king of swords. You're heartbroken because this person's a very, very good at manipulating, very good. And you got stuck. You're moving on because Ten of Wands, this is such a burden. You can't deal with it anymore. Justice. Clarify justice, please. That's not the right one. I'm just like King of Cups, though. Spirit. Spirit, you son of a bitch. fighting looking back at all the disaster that's gone down this current energy spirit clarified queen of pentacles god damn okay queen of pentacles in the reverse four of wands in the reverse the happy ending in the reverse there's no happy ending here nine of swords is horrible energy it's like literally keeps you up at night it's so painful heartbreak energy with the moon heartbroken because there's secrets this relationship is no longer nurturing and peaceful and loving because there's too many secrets and there's not a happy ending here. Karmic soul ties are the worst. Um, because I saw that Ten of Swords in the reverse, I'm gonna tell you if you guys break up, you're coming back together, the cycle is not over. I know some of you are like, oh, thank God, because I love that person. That's not what you should be thinking. You should be thinking. And I talk like this because I've been through so much, but I used to be that person who'd be like clinging for dear life that someone I loved didn't leave. And then you meet your twin flame and you don't get a choice in the matter anymore. And you learn how to be strong on your own. And you think you're strong until you meet your twin flame. And then it's like, well, shit. Um... Yep. The person you're dealing with, their block is that they are like, oh, I'll be responsible in five minutes. It's like, this is my diet card. The best example is, oh, I'm going to start my diet tomorrow. That's how this person approaches this relationship. Oh, I'll be loyal tomorrow. I'm going to do whatever I want because I'll make it okay tomorrow. It's like they're addicted to this shit that they're doing. Um, once you have a soul ascension, you don't feel pain like you normally do. And if you do, you can check yourself unless it's a twin flame relationship. And then the way that you check yourself is like, you literally have to put yourself in a, a mental white jacket because it takes you on a fucking rabbit hole, in a rabbit hole, and um, you will feel insane. But for normal people, for dealing with normal people, you feel like you miss them, you take wherever that hurts in your body, because that's your energy, that's your soul stepping out and being like, hey, I miss you. And bring it back into yourself. It's 
all energy work. Bring yourself back into your body. Because once you do that, you give them space. Why do people miss you once you move on? Oh, you're, you're not messaging them, but you're checking their shit and you're looking through old shit. Why are they still not messaging you? Why do they message you when you stop thinking about them? Because you pull your energy back. So bypass that shit. You want a result? Pull your energy away. You don't have to suffer. People don't have to suffer. Spirit, advice please for Libra for this week. Growth. You have the willpower to grow through this. This doesn't have to be a negative. Accepting what is, you have the power to change it. Change the outcome. You're going to continue in a toxic cycle or you're going to break it and love yourself. Will and power. Trust in the universe. What you want will come to fruition and creation came out with fruition. So create what you want to come into your life. And step out of the darkness. I don't know if you can see that. It's very... A time for healing. With growth and will, it's time to release negativity. For acceptance and power, have faith in your dreams. What you want can come around. You just have to put it in the universe the right way. Watch my videos. And don't watch the one of me yelling at people. For trust and fruition, you are good enough. You deserve the things that you want. What do you need to release? Don't let pride get in your way. You're safe. Um, if I, there's a video of me being a real a-hole to people who are rude in my comments, but um, I just don't like that sh sh shisty stuff. Um, especially because it's just far off as hell. Ah, what did I say? Karmic relationship. I don't like toxic people. I can be worse than them, but like, I don't want to be. I want to make the world beautiful. But if you're an asshole, I can't have them muddling my rainbows and sunshine. There's karmic relationship again. The void, I remember. Soul plan. Embrace winter. Let this person go. Spirit, what do you want to tell them? Make your life a moving prayer. Like this is, Spirit is saying manifest what you want. Don't live how you don't want to live. Manifest what you want. I'm very excited to say I just got these cards today. My person here made them. Mm -hmm. They're fucking beautiful too. They really are. Like, they're really, like, they are. The only thing is, they, um, they look the same on both sides. <laughs> Libra, your person says, I'm sorry I couldn't do right by you. And I feel safer in the silence. Um, Jesus, this is like heartbreak energy that I cannot, I cannot deal with this right now. Um, Remember what I said about pulling your energy back to you. Manifest what you want. If you want this to work out with this person, you guys need to clear a lot of energy between you. Uh, people think once you work out karma, then they can be your real soulmate. If you energetically 
work on it. It's not, oh, I forgive you. Okay, yes, now we're great. It doesn't work like that. This is energy from past life. You need to dig and figure out what went wrong and how you're going to fix it. You can't just be like, oh, you cheated and I forgive you. Now we're great. That's not how it works. You need to do inner work uh, and learn about energy. If this resonated, please like, share, and subscribe. If you want to hear an extended, send me an email.